Yo, what's going on guys? It's Roger with the Shoe Cutters. Welcome back to the channel. Today's part two, we'll be continuing with our build. We'll be adding the liners, the foams, and the eye stays. So let's not waste any more time, and let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so it's step eight and we are going to attach the liner. Then we'll be attaching the foam collar. Then we're gonna flip the liner over and roll the edges. So to do this, we'll first be adding the liner foam to the back of that liner piece. Now since we're gonna be using a lot of spray glue for this, I like to put some paper down to cover the mat so we don't get any overspray. And I also like to use this wire rack. Now when you're using the sprays, it's easy to get a lot of glue on your hands. Now this is one of the times that the crep comes in handy. You can actually use it to remove the glue off your hands and nails. And now what we want to do is grab both pieces, have them facing each other, and stitch a line from here to the other end to attach it together. And we're gonna use a bull clip and clip it in the middle to help hold it together while you're sewing. And now let's bring it over to the machine to get it stitched up. Okay, step nine, we're going to attach the collar foam. Okay, now if we have a look at the back of the liner, you can see that stitch going across. Now the reason why we're using the spray glue instead of contact cement is because spray glue doesn't actually compress the foam once it's been applied, whereas contact cement would Now that we've got the foam glued down, it's time to move on to step 10. Flip the liner and roll the edge. Now we can use the bone folder to help get into some tight spaces and push the foams around. And what I'm doing is actually flipping and rolling it in sections. So I applied a little bit of glue at the start, folded it, then I'm gonna go back and spray a little bit more glue in that section and repeat the process. Now I'm gonna put some more clips on the end of that liner and the upper to hold it in place. And this helps me with the positioning while I'm securing the liner down.
So step 11, we have to continue gluing down the rest of that liner to the upper. And what we're going to do is just apply that glue to all the areas on the liner and the upper that we didn't spray with the glue. Make sure the whole area is covered. But instead of using the spray glue, we're actually going to use a different type of glue called Aquilium, which is a water-based contact adhesive. And what I like about this glue is actually it has no smell. sit for a couple of minutes. Once it's dry and tacky, we are going to press those two pieces together and attach it. Now at this point, it's good to grab your eye stay and do a quick test fit just to make sure that your liner positioning is in place. stitching the safety stitches, which is the stitch that goes through the swoosh and holds the liner and the upper together. Don't forget to cut and singe the loose thread ends after you finish stitching. Now step 13 is we're going to glue down the upper eye stays and then stitch them on.
Now don't forget to go back and do a double stitch on the top part of the eye stay. Next we will glue down the lower eye stays and stitch them on. So we're going to stitch along the line in a P shape and then we're going to go back and do a double stitch on that as well. Okay, step 17, we're gonna go punch out all the lace holes across the eye stays. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you use your chopping board for this. Okay, this is the last step in this video and we're just going to go and cut away all the excess liner that you can see here and we're also going to make a horizontal cut across there to create an allowance for when we close the upper. Now that we've cut away all the excess, we can go over and check that everything's nice and clean. And we can grab our scissors and use that to clean up anything that's left over. And I also like to use the lighter for the final cleanup. Alright, and that's going to end the video for part 2. In part 3, I'm going to show you guys how to make the toe box and the tongue. Now, if you've been enjoying the video so far, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. I hope you guys have learned something new today. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.